Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Shark Friends Play, Sonic CD Part 5, we are now in the Wacky Workbench Zone, the 5th zone in the game, and, uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game, this isn't Robotnik's base, well, his main base, I'm not 100% sure if this isn't, this isn't one of his bases, but this isn't his main base, I believe that'll be the next zone that we'll go to, but it does have a interesting theme uh yeah the ice you if you you can jump out of it and it won't uh hurt you i believe if you jump out of it but you can see there the the floor does send you up pretty high up in the air while up top there will be uh coils that'll you can see the the screen flashing that'll uh the coils will Electrocute you. Well, that little just hurts you. Uh, I'll see if I can't get up top and show show them off. Sadly, they're in both. Uh, th they'll be in all zone or time eras. The let's see. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. You see these coils? Right now, they're dead. They won't hurt you. But once they light up, come on, light up. There we go. Green, they won't hurt you, but then when they, once they start flashing like that, that's when they'll hurt you. This place is very easy to get lost in, and I will be doing a lot of backtracking. Because there's just far, far too many dead ends here. Don't want a little grasshopper to jump on us. I want to say they... Okay, they will change up their... Style, or not st style, uh how the, uh, the different coils that light up. I'm not sure if it's because the higher you get or just they'll just change on their own. Ah, electric floors. You haven't seen those since, uh, I want to say... Oh, careful. Don't want to get electrocuted. Shoot. Yeah, that sucks. I wanted to go to the past, but... Oh, man, that hurts because I believe if I don't have any trouble I should and especially since I can you can stay in between on the uh, the things that look like bombs uh, you can stay in between those and you want to be very careful while jumping around because it uh, on the floor because it will send you straight up into the coils and that's never fun Come on. There we go. Alright, I think I figured it out. Yep. Alright. This is a sled. I don't want to go to the future. I want to go to the past. We can't find us a past sign real quickly. Probably not. Would like to get rid of it, though, so I don't accidentally go to the, the future. There we go. Right, so these are pretty cool. These, uh little stepping uh, step ladders but they uh, you just gotta keep jumping on one side or the other to go up higher and you just gotta make sure you don't jump off because they won't come back down for you you just have to keep moving up okay so this is a dead end I guess they do go down after a while I didn't, didn't notice like I said I haven't played all of this uh, game before, so there are a lot of things that I don't know. I haven't done quite as much research on the game as I would have liked, but I believe I did enough to give er give everybody a quality let's play. Or at least I hope I did. Shoot. There we go, okay. A lot of past signs here, but re no, no really good opportunities to uh, use them. I, you know, I could... Well, let's see if I can't get up there really quickly. Nope. The, using the floor to, uh... Try to... Jump around on really isn't gonna be that effective. Okay. Oh, there's another shield. I probably won't be able to get the, uh... Time stone this act. 
Yeah, they do drop pretty quickly. That's pretty cool. Um, because I don't believe I'm gonna have enough rings. Okay, what was the point of doing that? Yeah, this place you can get lost in very easily. Oh. Thankfully, okay. I'm just happy to be out of there right now. Anyway, so, sadly I wasn't able to go to the past. Or, or uh, don't want to go to the future, but I wasn't able to go to the past. Uh, I will try to in Act 2, of course, and I'll try to go after the uh, Time Stone here as well. Let's see. Oh, there was a pass. I believe that was a pass sign anyway. We can't go back over here and go for it. Yeah, the heights, uh, or just the length you stay in the air does kind of make you dizzy. A little... Huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I wish I only falling. I could have jumped on that last one. Alright, well anyway, I have 30 rings. Uh, you don't seem to have a problem collecting rings until you get to the towards the end of uh, of an act. And that's when the rings kind of get scarce, but just through the middle, beginning and middle sections of every act, it seems like you can get a abundance of rings. This is a good place. As long as you don't jump out of it, you can just keep going around the loop, and uh, it's easy to change times. A time errors. Kind of like the music uh, here. That's pretty. That's pretty. Uh, especially going around in that circle. That's pretty. Pretty cool. Kind of fits while you know going around in that circle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about either. Anyway, uh, good. We got 50 rings. Just try to see if we can't. Uh, you can see the. This actually might be Robotnik's base, as a matter of fact. Uh, I remember reading about backgrounds and how they how they change. Yeah, you want to be very careful while doing that. And okay, this is the first Sonic game to actually show um, going uh, or having more than just nine rings on. Uh, let's see, come on, give me a shield, please. No, no shields. Uh, but I remember when I was doing research for the backgrounds and how they how they'll change and the different eras and whatnot. That uh, Robotnik's base looked like it was you could still see it was under construction in the past, and in the future it looks you can see a lot of de decay and a lot of just me metal plates and rust and everything. Like Robotnik hadn't touched it in a, in a while. Be careful of those bees; they will shoot uh, a projectile at you, kind of like the Buzz Bombers would in Sonic One. And their uh, remake in uh, Sonic Two. There we go. All right, so I'll be able to get all the time stones. That's cool. There is actually, I believe, in this zone, a um, angel statue that will give you a whole bunch of rings. I've never been able to find it, but you can look on uh, YouTube and for different uh, videos for it. Okay, this is... Okay, I guess they're UFOs. I thought they were something different. They were too far away. This is a pretty cool background. Uh, come on. Oh, be careful there. Hop out of there. There we go. Nope. Come on. No. I know I can make it without having to uh, retry or anything like that. Yeah, see, that's when that's when they're a pain when they'll when you try to jump at them, then they immediately run out of the way. There we go. Just hoping it would pop up fairly soon because I could really use these 40 seconds trying to go after this one especially having it no wow why do you why do you gotta jump out in the middle of the water for it shoot all right let's see okay 
go. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna have to go after this. You have thankfully this guy stays still, and he'll uh don't try to jump around and mess you up. Especially Yes, got all the time stones, that's pretty cool. Never I've never done that before. <sighs> okay. And got them all. You don't ha there isn't a super form because these are time stones, not chaos emeralds. And you do get a trophy for getting all the time stones. I just never bothered doing it before. I did kind of want to wait until uh, I done the let's play of it. And you can see. Okay, I guess this isn't Robotnik's base. I could have swore this was. Oh, okay, that's right. Once you got all the time stones, every uh. Well, shoot. <laughs> yeah. I forgot, once you got all the time stones, every, uh, there would never be a bad future in any time zone. And there's, there will always be a good future that will look different. Uh, sadly, I'll never be able to show those off unless I can... I don't think there's a level select for the different... Different, uh... Time zones. Or, I, I don't think you can level select on a save file with different. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll remember it in a moment. With the, diff the different levels. Yeah, this doesn't fit at all. Alright, so this is a fairly hard boss. What You need to hit him once, and then he'll go up there and knock the. Uh, Knock these rocks off. I believe you only gotta hit him four times, four times, and go up four different levels, and then uh, that should do it. The background in the bad future is uh, it's all brown and uh, darker colors, more I'm not gonna say scary because it's, it's, it does. I guess it's supposed to look like it's supposed to look scary, but really it's it's not, you know. But it is darker than uh, this one. Obviously, you know, this is way too bright. But I guess this is Robotnik's base. Anyway, so I thank you for watching. The challenge of the video is how many rings that I collect. Uh, even the rings I lost in Act One in this entire zone. Thanks for watching. Until next time.